Hello, uh, this is uh, part two of the series, uh, Salvation Through Works is Heresy. And uh, brother, we, we left off, uh, we were talking about that it seems that some people just will not accept salvation as a gift. And, and some people don't want to have uh, uh, eternal security and be able to rest and be, have that peace of mind of knowing they can't lose their salvation. It seems like they prefer to, to live in fear and of losing their salvation. And what's, what's worse, I mean, if, if that's the way they feel, uh, you know, I feel sorry for them. But they want to make you and me and other people fear of losing our salvation too. Why would, why would they want to do something like that? You know, I, I, I don't know why they would want to do something like that. Because, I mean, Jesus, the, uh, uh, people would encounter Jesus and they would put their faith in Jesus. And Jesus would say, your faith has saved you. you go in peace. Yes. He didn't say go in fear of losing your salvation. He said go in peace. And I mean, the Bible says, therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we rejoice in the, in the glory of God. So uh, I don't see why they they're, uh, have this uh, fear of losing their salvation. They should be rejoicing that God has saved them, that He's given them eternal life. I think that's a very good point to use the word re rejoicing. Uh, you and I rejoice because we know that uh, God is so gracious, He's given us salvation as a gift through, through, because of our faith in Jesus. And uh, so we can rejoice. And isn't that why it's called good news? It's, it's, it's great news. I mean, the Bible says you will keep Him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because of why? Because he trusts in you. Now, if you, if uh, faith in his uh, death on the cross uh, for your salvation uh, uh, is was not sufficient, would you consider it good news? Because if, if other requirements, were, burdens were placed upon you, no, of course not. It, it, it wouldn't be good news. Um, it, it would, it would be that my salvation is is on me in my performance. And I, I, I'm, I've sinned against God. I, I've missed the mark. I've fallen short of His glory. So uh, there's no way that I can get into God's kingdom uh, through my, my righteousness. Right. The, and the, um, not only would it not be good news if, if you must believe in Jesus plus do various religious works, um, because we'd always have to worry if we worked enough or we're, we're good enough to, to uh, accomplish that. But also, it would not be good news if you always had to live in fear that somehow you're going to lose your salvation. That wouldn't be good news. It wouldn't be good news. And, and, and I mean, Jesus said there on the cross, uh, right before He died, He said, It is finished. Okay? And that was before I was even born. That was, that was said 2,000 years ago. That event of Him dying on the cross for my sins and Him uh, completing my salvation was done uh, 2,000 years ago before I was even born, before I ever did anything good or bad, my salvation was completely finished there at the cross. Mm -hmm. So what can I add to it? Well, I'm just very thankful that my sal salvation uh, is not based upon my righteousness. Uh, for, to me, gets to, to get saved in the beginning, it wasn't based upon my righteousness. It was based upon the righteousness of Jesus Christ being imputed to me, uh, and my sins being imputed onto Him. Uh, and then, of course, to continue in this salvation and have eternal security, it, it's not based upon my righteousness either. It's based upon the fact that Jesus. If, if I got into sin somehow, and uh, you know. Uh, or had doubts, whatever whatever uh, anybody would want to point the finger and say, you're losing your salvation because of this or that. I'm not going to lose my salvation because it's not based on my righteousness. It's based on the righteousness of Jesus Christ. That's right. God did all the work for you. God became a man. He lived a sinless life for Luke Boozer, for, for Frank. Uh, and, and he's the one that, that died up on a cross for our sins. And he's done all the work. He gets all the glory. He gets all the credit. Um, for our salvation. I can't tell you how many t emails and comments I've received on my videos about these subjects uh, that people want to uh, argue that faith is not enough, uh, that you've got to do also stop sinning or you've got to do 
be water baptized, and you've got to do this or that. Uh, and I also get people trying to convince me that uh, I could lose my salvation for any number of reasons. Uh, they, they, they seem like they want to take away the joy and the assurance and the peace and the rest that I have. And not only me, but the world. They, they just don't want us to be able to have the peace and knowing that we're resting in, in uh, Jesus' atoning death on the cross as our security. Well, these people uh, that are making these comments, that are preaching this, um, either on YouTube or out in the streets, they're not saved themselves. They don't believe that it is finished. And they must believe that what Jesus did on the cross is what saves them and that it is finished. They must believe that. And for them to add to the message um, shows you they don't believe um, in what Jesus did on the cross and that alone is what saves them. Mm -hmm. Well, I've tried to figure out why that they want to make uh, other people have doubts and fears uh, about uh, whether they're saved or whether they're going to lose their salvation. When I was a little boy, my mother used to have a repeat this saying to me. She said, Misery loves company. Uh, people who are miserable, they want other people to mis be miserable around them too. And that's, I, I think these people, they just don't have that peace and they don't want you to have it either. Yeah, well, they, they add to the message, um, such as uh, telling people they got to turn from all of their sin to be saved. They got to forsake all of their sin. They got to repent of their sins uh, to be saved, or they got to obey the, the Ten Commandments, or they got to. Um, uh, uh, observe the Sabbath or, or do works of charity. Um, anything that, that they add to the message um, is it, what they're saying is they don't believe that what Jesus did on the cross um, is enough to save them. There's something else that needs to be done. When Jesus said it's finished, and they must believe that to be saved. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, um, in the next video we'll go into uh, the reasons that they uh, they're getting this wrong. They they they're using various verses that they send me to uh, tr make their point. Uh, but the fact is, they really don't even understand those verses. Uh, so much of this video is going to be uh, uh, used to teach them what those verses actually mean, because they their misunderstanding is is causing not only them not to be saved, but uh, you know spreading this false doctrine to to others. So we'll just get into that in the next video.